Well, good evening. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. What a time to be alive. It's Return of Reckoning and we're back with the Marauder. The man with the beard. Whose mutation has just turned off. What is it with them during RVR leaks just breaks things? Like, it's literally the point of the game. I don't know. We shall join up to some scenarios. Uh, we're in Prague again. Um, I don't know what's happened to Empire and Chaos Zone. It just seems to be constantly running through. Which is not a bad thing, because it's my favourite pairing. Um, I don't think I've been in Dwarf and Greenskin in... Probably close to a week at this stage, which is amazing. I don't know what they've changed, but I'm here for it. I haven't had to look at Black Crag or Thunder Mountain once. A brief heart attack there when I seen them round in that corner, because I thought it was order. But thankfully not. Numbers seem to be roughly the same. We're leveling up a keep. They're not. <clears throat> so I'm not quite sure what to expect. I'm not really sure how things have been going. Like, usually it's one of those things, like, Usually when I log on in the evening, it's like, oh, everything's been terrible today. We've been getting beaten from one side to the other. And then other times I log in, it's like, there's been no order today. We've literally walked from one side to the other. And yeah, I have no idea what's going on today. Seem to be in the middle zone everywhere. And seems to be roughly equal numbers there and slightly in their favor there. <coughs> uh, don't know who any of these people are. No skill class. <laughs> I wouldn't call a white lion a no skill class. I would call it an AI-assisted class, because <laughs> of the pet. Which you can see as a positive or negative, whichever way you feel about, like, pathing and such things as that in this game. <coughs> My one issue with the White Lion is that it can have its pet attacking you from miles away. As he runs in a completely different direction. And does something else entirely. Um, and to play Devil's Advocate, the Squake Herder can do the exact same thing. There's me getting stuck in things again. Not gonna lie, the one difficulty I have when I swap back and forth like this on characters is doing my best to try and remember how you play them. <laughs> this guy has it out for me, let me tell you. I don't know why. Point guys, getting the point.
Too late to go home now, eh? Oh, you ran yourself into a corridor. Oh, no, you're dead. Haters will say that's a waste of a morale ability. I'll say no, that was a Shadow Warrior. I deserved it. Oh, foolish Iron Breaker. He should have stood in that flag. This is usually the sort of thing destruction does. But, no. This time it's order. flag. I never understood why people want to chase off in this scenario. This is the other thing I like to do, is stand directly behind your healer. Because, realistically speaking, a witch hunter or whatever can still hit them through you, right? But if you stand directly behind them, the healer can run away and the witch hunter gets stuck in you because of collision. Usually. Not always. level to use that one yet, I forgot. <laughs> uh, this is why you don't chase them outside, because if they pick off any of your number, you're stuffed. Guys, you just need to be fighting in this center circle, let me tell you. Oh, this is gonna go badly. Nine times out of ten, you lose this scenario if you lose that point. Because it becomes very difficult to get it back. Unless you're organized. And we are not organized. He's just standing there to get himself killed. would have helped if I could have actually clicked on him. 
to be honest, if I had had the health, I would have probably just tried to hide behind the flag, but I didn't. This is the problem in a situation like that, because you really need your healers or your mili or your ranged DPS to be standing on that flag. And if I have to do it as a melee DPS, I'm pretty much neutered, because I can't do anything. Yeah. That was unfortunate. We threw that away. Threw it away by trying to run out and chase them. But, is what it is. Six death blues for me was pretty good, though. Is that the best? That was the best. Look at that. And I was Mr. Objective. Playing it right. Got a warrior. The ultimate nemesis of the Marauder. Hitting! Hey, that worked out quite well. There's a fancy Marauder. This way. Oh, Lord Watch. This is probably my favorite scenario map for my Blackguard. So when I used to play my Blackguard on live, um, I was like really super defensive spec. Um, anguish and Loathing, I think, are the two trees, the middle one and the right hand one. And I was specced just to be really, really annoying. I put a lot of debuffs on people and make their life difficult and um, soak up all of the damage. Um, <clears throat> and the one good thing with the Blackguard is, because you've got hate as a mechanic, hate works really well for just giving you a tiny little bit of burst damage. And if you're fighting someone who is very DPS specced and they're doing nothing to you, and you're self-healing and everything else and debuffing them, being able to burst them at individual points is really, really good. Um, and I used to just sit in this map, and I would constantly just sit and debuff healers and disrupt them, and then build up enough hate and send them flying off into the sea, never to be heard from again. And I just did it scenario after scenario, and it was great fun. And that's how this became my favourite scenario for uh, my Blackguard. Now, we're in trouble here because she knows we're coming for her. I'm going to help out this fella. And now he's in trouble, because the one thing keeping him alive is now gone. Oops. Now I'm going to guess the fact that there's so many people here and the fact that this is blue is... We've been pretty much bummed up there, which we have. So I'm going to go this way. Probably going to run into that Archmage again. Because the likelihood is a shield have went that way first time, and there they are. Both of them coming. Which means I can't stop here because I can't fight both of them. But I can do that. All yours, Chopper. All yours. Oh, 
That was a good knockback. Slayer. Can't take them all, unfortunately. Oh, we're getting farmed down here. How delightful. I wonder if anybody has decided to try and go over here. Is it being blocked off? I'm going to go out and limb, and I've got to say the witch hunters are at least smart enough to roam over here. Maybe not. I did do. Where am I? I hate how it does this at times. You can scroll up and down the list, and you're not there. Career. No, I'm there. Apparently I didn't get a kill in that um, slayer. Some high. Fairly sure I guillotined him to death, but maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe somebody had a dot on him. Oh, crikey. I seen a lot of red there. And I get the sneaky suspicion they're going to catch me. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go alley up. Yeah, he's going to catch me for sure. I wonder, can I do something as cheeky as that? Not yet. I was going to see if I could just teleport out. Ah! Oh! Do the want? Jeez. Oh, of course, the reinforcements turn up now. The shame. <laughs> oh no, let's do the stupid thing again. Join. Why aren't you let me join? There we go. Just have to move. That's the downside of that situation, when you're outnumbered and they have a faster mount. It's like, eh. <laughs> oh, it's these guys again. I would have fancied my chances if it was just me and the white lion. And when I say fancied my chances, believe that I could have held my own for a bit. Then again, if it was just me and my own, just him and his own, I have the sneaky suspicion um, he would not have been coming for me. Yeah, he's up here. Oh, I thought we had a healer. Do we not? Oh no, he's melee. 
My bad. I wish they would change the icon here. Like, put the wee cross sword so you know. At least I killed their healer. Did I get the credit for it, though? No. I did not. This makes me a sad marauder. Sad marauder noises. Someone's up here. Go out here. No? You don't want to come out here? That was silly. Damn. I didn't think I would take as much fall damage as that. I got credit for someone dying. Was it Shadow Warrior? Oh, they're farming outside the spawn. Nice. So sad. Please do not spawn around. Sure. a lot of order. Oh, crikey. Too big of a numbers game for me to get involved in at the minute. Hmm. There's somebody over here. Oh, ho, ho. There's a lot of people over here. <laughs> oh boy. Now, can I sneak in at the back? See, I have no idea what it is that they're fighting. If I could tell if they were fighting a warband, I would legitimately charge in and attack one of those healers. I don't think they are. Oh, 
That's a strange maneuver for a witch hunter. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to remember to stick rand on these guys. I think it's called Rand. Yeah, Rand. Also, the other thing I should be doing is I should have that on. Gankers. Destro fighting the tanks. I'll slow you down. The great thing about what I just did there is these guys thought that they could get a wee sneaky kill. And didn't run. They had the chance to run. They wanted the renown. There's no sense in hanging around to kill a low level marauder if you've got a warband charging along behind them. But all they see is purple numbers. Sign up to scenarios. I'm saying going to myself, why are scenarios not popping? The sigh. 62% we are in Renown, and 56 on XP. So we are heading for 3541. That shouldn't be too bad. My guess is this is roughly going to work out as another 40, 45. And I was kind of hoping to do slightly better than that, but unfortunately not. Hunter sense is tingling. I'll take this for safekeeping. Who 
Who will come? The order blob or the destruction blob? I'm going to say order blob because they're taking this. <clears throat> well, order in some form are coming. He's packing a punch. Of course he gets a healer. Credit the healer, the healer's not getting involved. Ah! Misplaced. Misplaced. I think I fought misplaced yesterday. Did I? Didn't think misplaced was a sword master. I thought misplaced was a shadow warrior. Barely sure I made a joke yesterday about misplaced something or other. There was the day before. Definitely think I fought misplaced before. Well, that was a good fight. I'll give him that. I don't know what it is. I just don't feel quite the same tankiness with the Marauder that I used to feel, which is probably the loss of um, the loss of bolster. Um, but, yeah. so good like that's what everybody watches this channel for it's like that high level gameplay of being able to navigate yourself around the bit that you get stuck on <laughs> then jumping off the side into the sea <laughs> oh god It's the slow swimming noises that does it for me. It's just the, the shame. It's the noise of shame. There you are. That's what shame sounds like. Well, there is a trick to getting up here. And it's the weirdest thing, because I've seen people do it on a first attempt. I myself have done it on a first attempt. But it's always weird when you try to do it, because you never do it. Hey, TV. Oh, crikey. I'm being chased. Or not. Maybe. Mm, maybe not. Don't know. How's your day going, TB? Hopefully it's going well. Oh. There's that shame again. It's time to run away. Yes, eat the sorceress. They're high in fiber, low in fat. Hello, Archmage. Your friends are all downstairs.
See, they managed to get up first time. I can never get up first time. Ah, very cool. How are you finding the experience being back? Heal yourself, Sal. Heal yourself. There we go. Got through that okay. It's very good. Oh, very good. Glad you're enjoying it. Haha. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, like, the Marauder can be kind of tanky. So, monstrosity over here will give you a heal. Well, sorry, it gives you a percentage chance of a heal whenever you attack. But um, you also get a tactic that increases your toughness and initiative, I think. So, you can spec it in such a way to be very tanky. Um, I like running around as brutality simply for the fact that it gives me a bit of damage and it looks cool. Um, but no, it's good you're enjoying it. It's good you were able to get it downloaded and installed okay. Um, hopefully, hopefully the nostalgia goggles will help uh, amplify the fun a bit. But I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Ah, okay. Savagery is one of the ones that I'm thinking about trying out um, once I hit 35. Because I like the idea of the auto attack speed um, reduction that it gives to people I'm fighting against. Because I think it might help me a little bit uh, against um, Witch Hunters. But I just love guillotine and brutality. Love guillotine. But I think... Um, I think Savagery gets uh, Cleave Armor, something like that I think it's called, which is a similar sort of thing. Uh, who are we up against? Some names I recognize. Right, let's see how we do. Um, charge. Hello. Hitting. Hung out to dry. Hey man, whatever works for you. Um, the thing that I always say to people is play it how you find it the most fun. It's really easy, especially in MMOs, just to get caught up in the idea oh, I have to play this because somebody says it's the best way to play it or something else but I'm a big advocate of play the game just how you find it yourself
Ah, nice. Yeah. It looks really cool. I like that you get three different types of mutation for each one. Although I can get a bit hung up at times trying to find the one mutation style I like the look of. <laughs> Hashtag fashion hammer. Getting. Oh, nearly. Got him. Ah. Yeah. To be honest, the one thing that I'll say is you'd be surprised how much you find that happy medium just looking for something that you enjoy. Um, because, like, from my own perspective, if I like the look of something, it covers up an awful lot of the, the problems that I have with it. And I like the look of this Marauder, and I like the abilities. And to me, like, that makes a huge huge difference whereas like something say for example um let me think of one the sork right i haven't played my sork in ages simply for the fact that whenever i play it and like it's not going particularly well or i don't feel like i'm making a difference it's a class i don't particularly like the look of and i don't particularly like most of the abilities but with this it doesn't really bother me oh that was a lot of witch hunters Four of them. Oh, I got five death blues. Look at me. Ah, we all get competitive in PvP, we just can't help it. Oh, what was that? I heard a dark elf roaming. Are they fighting around the back again? No? Don't know where that came from. Must have been the wind. And now comes the problem. I'm stuck in the water with a bunch of ranged classes. Uh, why laugh? I, I, I've never understood this laughing thing. <laughs> <clears throat> Ah, you want to change the tattoo. He's just, um, if you get to Inevitable City, he's just in the main bit. Um, just as you walk into it, the auction house on your right, he's just on your left. Um, but 
yeah, it's free as well, which is the great thing. You just need to log in and out whenever you change it. So that's something. What do you want? Yeah. That's the thing, it's like there's a lot of things like that in the game, like um who is it? I think it's the witch elf. No, it's the Zealot. The Zealot has a load of body tattoos, and you literally can't see most of them as soon as they get, like, their first set of gear. Because it covers them all up. It's it's really, really weird. It's the same with, like, um... Uh... Who is it? Is it the Disciple of Cain gets a bunch of ones that you can't see? There's another class as well that has a very similar thing where, like, most of them look really cool, but once you put on armor, you can't see any of it. <laughs> That's why I went for this one, because if I don't put on my uh, cloak, and I don't really think the Marauder sits a cloak, you can see it, regardless if you're mutated or armored up or whatever. And let's face it, this is the angle you're looking at your character most of the time anyway, so... Seventy-four percent on our nine, sixty-six on XP. Trundling along, okay. Who are we up against? Uh, cinders, I recognize. Let's see how this one goes. Hitting. Damn. Deader than a dead thing. <laughs> Priest to get it. Ugh. That's gonna be painful. Ah, nice! It's a solid list, in fairness. Like, they're all really strong classes. And the great thing about it is, you can pretty much set up um, 
all of them in tier one and have a blast playing them. Like it's it's the one amazing thing about this game is like tier one is just so accessible is probably the word I'm looking for. Like it's so easy to make a class for it and then you're pretty much straight into the fight. And it works really well. I honestly thought this scenario was going to go better than it actually is. I need to get this arc mage out. Need to be able to get the arc mage in one piece, in fairness. Got one. Whoever knocked me back there did me a solid because it finally got me a kill. I do, I do it every now and again. Um, I usually jump between brutality and monstrosity. And I tend to jump to monstrosity once my back's to the wall a little bit, just to give me a little extra survivability. Um, or, if they're all bunched together, a little bit of AoE. Um, I don't do it a lot, because I've got a tactic, which is basically buffing my damage for sticking with um, brutality. So I lose a bit of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Lose a bit of stat and uh, utility that way. But I do, I do jump back and forth a little bit. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. The other thing as well is because the majority of my mastery points are in brutality, they're the higher level abilities. Um, so when it comes to when it comes to the the abilities actually being able to land the damage that they're going to do, that kind of thing, brutality is going to have a better chance, uh, just because they're higher. Um, but it is a thing. You do get a little bit of extra utility out of it by doing it. Take this to the keep. Looks like we're losing dragon weight. 200 of them. Jesus. It's gonna be one of those nights. <laughs> How am I doing on the old. Oh, yeah, I'm just starting out. I keep forgetting I haven't played this guy all week.
There we go. Hey, I was rewarded with a scenario. If only that's how it worked. Uh, and a cell. <laughs> I wonder if that's an alt of Panadol. Or whether it's just a fan. I do! Um, so I have most of the professions. I don't think I have a hedge wizard yet. Do I? No, I do. Yeah. I think, I think I've got one of each. So, um... Yeah, I definitely have heads wizard because that's tiles I'm making. What's the one I'm thinking of? Salvager. I don't have a salvager, I don't think. Um, my magus is an apothecary and a cultivator. The marauder is apothecary and butchering. And then a bunch of the other ones are scavengers and um, talisman makers. For Marauder, Butchery is apparently one of the best. Um, the one thing I would say with it is, if you're going to do uh, public quests, um, the Marauder with uh, Monstrosity will run through um, public quests like nobody's business, and if you've got uh, scavenging, you'll make an absolute fortune out of it. Butchery is the same, but I've really struggled to find any um, any public quests that are just animals. They're mostly all humanoids. Um, and then you kind of need a little bit of apothecary and a little bit of talisman making because you'll want talismans to slot into your gear you'll want apothecary for potions because you're going to want to run like say a strength and armor potion for a marauder what i would say is it's generally cheaper to do uh potions on the auction house well wow, that was a lot of explosions whereas talismans you'll be able to make them really really quickly Got him. Tackled with the wrong marauder. Oh my god, they all want to fight the marauder. Leave the marauder alone. <laughs> Damn. Um. Yeah, Butchery Apothecary is really good for a Marauder. So, there is... Let me think, at your level, there is a PQ that is on the way between um, Nordland and Ostland. And it's, it's right down at, at the border across, and it's it's, I forget what it's named, but it's all wolves and warrior priests. And you can do a lot of butchery there. A lot of butchery. Um, I would suggest you to do it in monstrosity stance, just because of the heal that you're going to get. Um, and you'll need that to get through the champion mobs at the end of it. But... Yeah. 
it's really it's a really good one to do if you're butchery and apothecary See if I can find it quickly. Uh, it's down here. This one. Sacred Ground. It's a great one to do at the start. to him for standing his ground, but silly him for standing his ground. <laughs> Why am I barely running out of it? So, um, I have a um, couple of bits of gear that give me AP per second. And I also have... Is it a tactic? Uh, no. There's something I have. Must be a piece of gear. I think it's just all the plus AP gain. I think. But I was the same as you. Like, in the early levels, I find like I was just AP starved constantly. Um, and it was the same with the Magus. The Magus, when I played it at first, um, like, I just didn't have AP at all. Um... But you find as you level up and get going that it just doesn't seem to be as big of a problem anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's all a ruse to get you to play more. <laughs> The other thing as well is you'll find in groups like this, um, some of the classes have buffs to people's AP, so that's probably playing into it a bit as well. Because like I know when I play on my Zealot, my Zealot has abilities that give everybody a, basically an almost unlimited AP pool. skill class wanted none of that <laughs> oh i got nine that time ah there's the dream i love that armor set 
That's so nice looking. Ah, nice. To be honest, it's that time of year. You just have to get the Xmas shopping done, otherwise you just get in trouble. <laughs> To be honest, it's like I, I'm i the exact same most of the time. Like one of the reasons that I actually stream is just so that I'll actually sit down here and play. Because otherwise I'll just procrastinate and I'll sit downstairs and I'll watch YouTube videos or a film or something. I'll not play. So this is the easiest way for me to actually stick to playing. Which younger me is cringing at no end. Because it's such an old man thing. Raven's blessings. Thank you for the Raven's blessings. Uh, join. Let's see. Oh, someone spawned a ram. It's a background. <clears throat> Who are we up against? Don't know any of them. Ben Weiss was on one earlier. Lazrias, I think, was on one earlier. Ooh, we're nearly at 41. Doo -doo. Ah! I don't think they have enough healers. I think they could use more. This is the really weird thing about scenarios in this game, it's like, you'll play it, and more often than not, as a destruction person, you'll never have a healer. Tonight we've got a couple of healers, which is a nice change. But anytime I log in and play as my healer, we don't have any DPS or tanks, it's just endless scenarios of just destruction healers. It's so bizarre. Only I could fall off a thing and get stuck.
Ah! Thank you very much, kind sir. I was lurking in your stream earlier. Hopefully you had a good time. Welcome everybody, you're all very welcome. Get to come and watch me feel horribly in my Marauder. It's nice to have you all here. I always feel like these warrior priests hate marauders even more just because the marauder has such a majestic beard and they're bald. healers. Oh my god, we finally killed one. We killed two? Uh, what did I say? Uh, how do you go about leveling usually? I don't know if I've done a good job or not. I played around nine hours ago, well, 13, 14. Um, Normally for me, all I do is, as soon as I start, I run down to um, the RVR lake and I just run straight into the RVR lake and start fighting people. And that's pretty much it. Um, I do scenarios and I do open world RVR and try to limit everything outside of that because I want to try and keep my uh, renown level above my character level yep pure pvp um, it is the best way um, just simply for the fact that your renown level is obviously the one that's going to go the highest um, you need it for your gear and you need it to get your renown mastery points into so um yeah it's it's basically 
it's it's the best thing to prioritize. You don't have to prioritize it. Right? You can get gear. You can get um, potions. You can get all of that kind of stuff purely from PVE. But as soon as you hit level forty, you're going to be into a world of hurt unless you've got your renown level higher. So your renown level basically is the gatekeeper to all your different PVP gear sets. It's also going to be the gatekeeper to PVP potions. So if you go to one of the armor vendors and you're buying, say, um, healing potions or AP potions, you need a renown level for those. You need a renown level for your weapons. So, for example, if you were to look at my um, axes, they need a renown level of 34, as well as a character level of 34. Um, so if your renown level is not high enough, you can't use them. Um, and then your renown mastery points allows you to buff up your stats. So every, I think it's every renown level you go up, you get another renown mastery point, and you can put that into things like parry percentage or um, crit chance or strength or toughness or that kind of thing. Um, it depends, really, like, if you're wanting to supplement your, um, character XP level, and you're wanting to get the gold, yeah. Um, if you're just wanting to try and focus on getting your renown higher, probably not. Um, but again, as this is your first character, and it's your only character at the minute, you're probably best off taking them just to get a little bit of extra income going. I wouldn't keep doing the repeatable ones because that'll just bump up your XP level too quickly. But again, it's another one of those ones that's like you can play it any number of different ways. Yeah. That's that's pretty much the best way. If you're gonna if you're gonna try and take the character all the way up um, keeping your renown level ahead of your character levels pretty important um, because once you get to level 40 you lose the effect of bolster and bolster covers up an awful lot of the shortcomings that you have so um, it's it's, it's, it's just going to help you out in the long run, shall we say. You don't have to do it, and there's a lot of people don't do it and do just fine out of it, but they're the exception rather than the rule, I'd say. So at the minute, to give you an idea, like my renown level is about to be 41, but I'm only actually character level 34. So I'm tracking just a little bit ahead. Um, little Demons, who's in here every now and again, his Sork, I think, is like 10 or 15 levels ahead in renown rank over its um, character rank. It's crazy how he's managing it.
Damn it. I shouldn't have topped off him. <laughs> oh, they walked it too close to our spawn. Oh my god, how did I get three death blows? <laughs> oh god, it feels like I did nothing in that. Right, let's see. I need to go back to the war camp. So many of these masks. despawned the ram. Oh, that they tried and it failed. It's very strange.
Hmm. Okay. Sorry about that. I was getting lots and lots of questions. Uh, reach you for some scenarios. This should push us to 41, hopefully. Uh, the faces in the backpack. So these are masks that dropped during the Halloween event last weekend, I think it was. Um, or the weekend before, I can't remember which, but they basically, they, they drop from players in PvP. Um, and they're like, there was little quests associated to them for the event, like kill 50 players while wearing a mask or do something or other while wearing a mask. They just, they're like headpieces that don't have any stats associated to them. So you can use them as like uh, alternate appearance items and stuff. But I've never really taken much notice of them. So, oh, well, that was a useful scenario for me. I managed to get halfway up the beach and then it ended. And for doing that, I was given a thousand renown. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, it's it's a Halloween event. They've they've run it. Well, they ran it on live most years, and um, they run it here every year. There'll be a Christmas event as well, which is Keg Keg's End, I think it's called. But yeah. Oh, I collect faces, but only at the weekend. <laughs> It's very Zinchian, isn't it? There's just something about it that kind of fits. Bandit's pain blood. That would have come in handy for my disciple Akian a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, like, it's a very very Warhammer style thing. There's another one dead. Haha. -ha. Not today order. Maybe today. Yeah, I'm dead. No, I'm not. I survived. I shall cheer. <laughs> to be honest, I have a theory that the Chaos faction was originally supposed to be all four gods to kind of represent uh, Chaos Undivided. And the reason I say that is because in the game you have chosen armor for Nurgle, you have Corn armor for the Marauder, you have Slanesh armor for the Zealot, and the only one who doesn't really have any other god's specific thing is the Magus, because the Magus would have been Zinch. And I remember at the time they made a whole thing about, well, we can't make it corn because that's boring and you can't have magic. You can't make it Nurgle because nobody likes the look of it. You can't have it Slanesh because we need to keep the age written down. And I just get the sneaky suspicion that they were going to go that way and they got warned off. Whether it was by GW or marketing or something, but 
there's too many well-designed pieces for the individual classes that would fit with a different god style. Ah, he healed himself. Got him. I was always a Slanesh guy. I always liked Slanesh. Um, I, uh... Like, the first god that um, I liked when I started to find out about Chaos was uh, Korn. Uh, primarily because I, I went to the store and I bought a set of um, the old uh, World Eaters Chaos Space Marines and didn't realize what Chaos was and it was only when I got them home and started reading through the book and stuff I was like all oh, right these aren't bloody angels at all they're corn and then when it was coming up the time for the Chaos release in 1996 I want to say um, they interviewed a guy in White Dwarf who had done what was essentially an Emperor's Children army dedicated to Slanesh before Emperor's Children were really a thing. Um, and yeah, I just, I fell in love with the aesthetic. Probably. Uh, the thing for me is, realistically speaking, because Zinch is all into, um, like, plots and deceit and stuff, the Marauder should probably have been the stealth class. Um, because it's very Zinchy to be in the shadows and all that kind of thing. Whereas the Witch Elf in sort of lore is more like almost the chopper in the sense of just like charging across as a whirling dervish of knives but i think it was one of those where they just wanted to go for a particular aesthetic they wanted mutations and i think kind of like the magus and the engineer the marauder was the only thing that would kind of fit Stance switching style. Be a good boy and die, Mr. Warrior Priest. Ooh, 35.
Finally. It's good for the XP and renown. Uh, it's all worth three there of that new Lord unit. His two twins can join Zeitz's magic. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like they've changed almost the aesthetic of Zinch quite a bit over the length of time between when this game came out and what it is now. Like they've kept the very sort of fluid, curvy shapes to it, but. Um, yeah, like, I, I remember actually seeing the miniature for that character. Um, I thought it looked class. It's got, like, the weird sort of symbiote twin thing coming out of the shoulder. Um, yeah. It's it, it's very, very zinchy. Just thinking, actually, I can now wear my new set of armor. Um... And this is the problem. I'm going to lose that wonderful four-piece bonus. Um, which is just amazing. But, yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, let me see. What end of there? Under here. So, not down there. I'll move that up into there. There we go. So. We've got a better crit chance. We have elemental resistance now. We've got better strength. But we're losing our four piece bonus to get a plus one to savagery. Not the best trade off in the world, but I'm sure we can live with it. And now we have the actual look for the armor. Which isn't too bad. Um. So, let's see. Where's that vendor? Paid for in blood. Ah, oh, there he is. Pears decided to turn up. He's here just to try and laugh. And he's not going to be able to do it because we're kicking ass. Use it well. I love this armor design. I really, really do. Hope everything's well with you, pair. Hopefully you're enjoying your Friday. Uh, let's see. I've lost my... I don't know, it's there. Okay, I was going to say I've lost my armor potion again. But I haven't. Did I get anything with that level? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. I got this. What's this? Disrupted magic is twisted back into the caster and flicking five down, knocking them down for three seconds. Okay. Uh, I'll put that down there. Did I get anything for the others? Hmm. 
No, don't think so. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to our keep. And I'm going to have a play about with my career mastery. Yep, he is flying along at the minute. He is current. Oh, crikey. Um, he is currently 3541. So, slowly but surely, he's getting there. And he's inspired Mr. Tibu to come back to the fold. He's leveling up his own Marauder. So the power of Destro is being swelled. Like a gift of monstrosity. Well, that's how I see it, anyway. <laughs> Don't listen to Streamlabs. <laughs> you spam away. If I can ever figure out how to stop that, I will. I don't know what it is. It's like Streamlabs just likes to be overzealous in a lot of things. It's like somebody said to me the other night, Gratz, when I leveled up, and it flagged it for improper language due to a sexual nature. I was like, well, you know, <laughs> leveling up is a bit like that, but uh, I think that's a little over the top. Let's respec, and we're gonna go all the way up to here. And um, we're gonna try that. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go for that. And that. Or do I want to go for that? Well, like the likelihood is I'm gonna go for that over the other. Do I want these? That's one of those tactics that seems really good on paper, but I don't know if it's gonna be as good in practice. I'm going to try it like this for the time being. And see how it goes. And that's put a lot of these in the wrong place. So I'm going to have to take that out of there. That out of there. And that out of there. And let's see. So you want that to be first. Uh, Gut Ripper, you're going to want down here with that. Uh, that I will put in there. And we'll move that to there. That there, that there. Like so. Try it like that. I look like the creature from the Black Lagoon now with that claw. Um. pair trying to scare people off. Always knew you were a secret orderling. <laughs> You're probably a witch hunter in disguise. All of the dots. I'm looking forward to these two. Um, because 
a wind's debuff as your opening move is pretty strong. No idea if it's going to work how I think it's going to work, but my hope is it does. That's then going to reduce their armor. And then not let you just batter away at them. Nostalgia is a lot like beer goggles. It makes everything look far better. That's why I play with nostalgia and beer goggles. That's why I'm so positive. <laughs> <laughs> there is a quest you can pick up and I think it's actually in the Slanesh Quarter in Inevitable City where it's like we need you to go here and pretend to be in service of Zinch but actually in service of Slanesh <laughs> Sure to scenario. Oh, excuse me for yawning. Oh. Let's see how this works out. Oh, good. We're already losing. Apparently I have two gifts of savagery. That doesn't seem fair. I got a kill. Clearly that means it's such a massive success. Would have helped if I had remembered that I don't have a healer. <laughs> See, I clearly should have got that tactic that would have transferred his healing into me. Probably doesn't make much of a difference. <laughs>
Well, if they're all choosing to fight there, I'm very tempted to go and see if anybody's guarding the flag. I don't see anybody. I could be a hero. Just for one day. Mr. Healer. I got two. That has to count for something. How mad are they that he didn't even give them an off heal? Well, at least he's resin this one. Look at that, I'm two for two. I'm basically the majority of this score now. <laughs> I was late in. I won death blows and objective score. I'm calling that a win. Could have given me a res, but that's a choice. No? Seriously? This is why you should never help anybody in this game. <laughs> they just leave you lying in the dirt. Let's go this way. Garrison of Skulls. It's one way to ride it, I suppose. Let's see if I can get a better looking mutation. Nope. I've just realized this has already started, so I'm just standing in the spawn switching mutations. They must think I'm an idiot. <coughs> Oops. Nobody saw that. <laughs> oh, thank goodness it's not recorded, eh? Uh, where's this guy? Right here. Hello!
Where'd he go? Keeps knocking him away. Definitely feel like my damage output is down. It really does. Although, in fairness, that goes the same for the majority of the classes. If you've got a healer, uh, even like hots or off heals, it's so different. My problem is at the minute, I just don't feel like I have the spike damage. I'll never understand that. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, it could just be this scenario. Um, but I feel like in Brutality Spec, your spike damage is so much more. Whereas Savagery is obviously building up a lot of its damage. So it kind of feels like they can just heal through you that bit better. Here comes the cavalry. Yeah. 
And that's the thing. It's like... That's just one scenario. Like, it's, it's going to be very different um, in other ones. But it just feels like brutality is just better. But, realistically speaking, where I'm wanting to try savagery from is more against the melee DPS, so the likes of the White Lions and uh, the Witch Hunters. I want to see how it does with them, because I'm convinced that this auto-attack reduction thing is going to be quite good against them. But it's me just thinking that on paper. It could be very different in practice. Like, it might be completely useless, for all I know. I'm on my way, pair, don't worry. I would have already been there, but my fellow destruction left me to die after I came to their rescue. <laughs> I made it. It's a guarantee now that the Keep Lord will fall. Yeah, that's the thing. Especially at that level. Um... It's very easy for Shadow Warriors to kite you. Um, you just need to basically be on top of um, mutating release, charge, and then debilitate. Because it's your only way around them. for just turning up at the end. gold bag. <laughs> it just turned up at the end. <laughs> oh, what roll did I get? 829. <laughs> oh, dear. And the winners are... <gasps> I won! Who'd have thunk it? No, just have to get it in the mail. Oh well. The enemy has been engaged a gyrocopter. There's a bug. <laughs> Want something, do you? Go for it.
haven't signed up to scenarios again. Oopsies. I suppose the other thing as well is my strength is a lot lower because this tactic's weapon skill. But that would be the other main change. The other thing as well is my other armor had the armor debuff rock on it, which is probably helping things as well. So there's potentially just a lot of things have changed all at once that makes it seem worse than it is. But we'll see if we get any sort of witch hunters or white lions out here. There's usually a few of them roaming around. I just love the look of that armor. It's so good. What am I up against? Uh, ben Weiss, Click and Clack. They're the only ones I recognize. Click and Clack, I'm still convinced, is a dual boxer. Oh, that is twins. Are we outnumbered or something? Because it kind of feels like there's just a line of healers and then me in this tank. <laughs> or has everybody just died and respawned? Ah, oh, because there's only one back there. Maybe we're just outnumbered. I don't know. Off to the lighthouse I go. Well, 
Didn't work out so well for me there. kind of hoping I was going to decap this before they'd hit 500, but I'm not that lucky. Terrible. Will it go neutral before I have to log out? It did! Kind of. <laughs> uh, so bad. Get my bag at least. Uh, nommy nom noms. Uh, go for work rests. Can't go wrong with work rests. I don't know how he managed to get away from there, considering he was slowed. his fist there like grr Taking on an Archmage, a Shadow Warrior, and a Warrior Priest, and another Archmage. This is the problem. It's, they want you to go and fight four of them. And it's like, no. Just, no. Doesn't make any sense to.
Problem is, I don't think I'm going to have any more luck going this way because I get the feeling that whoever's taken up here is probably a group as well. He didn't try and bounce away and come back stealth. Maybe he ran out of AP while he was stealth, and that's why he was just standing there. Quarry stealing all their supplies. Let's hope we don't get that Archmage group. I wouldn't mind another crack at the Witch Hunter though. He seems to be on his way. Just about. It was a good fight. Yeah, we did quite well. But again, I think. I think part of that comes down to the fact that um, I was reducing his auto attack speed and then through this I was slowly neutering him with his AP regen. But again, it could all come down to the fact that I've just got more weapon skill because of that tactic. It's it's. It's a difficult thing to try and quantify. Oh, he's coming back again. Got me that time. All of his parry. There you go. Third time's the charm. Good man. What did I get for killing him? Oh, 
Where was it? No. Mm, didn't say. It's weird. <coughs> Go and play with them again. Oh, here's a shadow warrior. There's nothing you can do in that scenario. You're stuck between kiters, one of whom can heal. Like he's not fooling anybody. Oh, I can't even sign up for scenarios. Damn. Strong way. I'm not fighting too. Not when they've got reinforcements coming. I think that Archmage actually thought that was a uh, player. Hunter. Oh, I thought he was coming for me. What's this? That's an arc mage, is it? It is. Uh, somewhat surprised that I never got very deep into the Warhammer lore. This and Vermintide. Yeah, to be honest, like, the Warhammer lore, it's probably the thing that really sells Warhammer games or just Warhammer in general because it's just so 
it's so well put together and there's so many good sources out there for it like one of the guys um i watched on youtube is a guy called uh luton 09 he does like really in-depth lore videos for 40k and 40k is like the primary side of things that i'm into but um some of his videos are just phenomenal um but like there's so much out there for it like uh total war the old dawn of war rts games for 40k vermintide like you're saying so many good games that are available yeah dark tide's one i'm interested in. like i'm more interested in space marine 2 than i am in dark tide and like dark tide's making all the right noises and i seen they did like a trailer i think it was yesterday or the day before maybe um and like it looked really nice but i just don't know what the game plan dark tide's going to be like uh, if it's just going to be you and a couple of people versus hordes of enemies or how it's going to work out. But, um, yeah, it does look interesting. I'll give it that. Everybody seems to be in Calador. The original Space Marine game was pretty good. Um, it was like a third person shooter, almost. Um, the Death Guard and Mortarian are basically just Chaos Space Marines, who just seem to be in everything. Like, it, it doesn't seem to matter what it is, but there was like a Grey Knight game came out there not long ago, and it was like they were fighting against the Death Guard. I was like, come on guys, mix it up. Have them fight somebody else for a change. I think they're going to be coming this way as that we group. So I'm going to burn and run. Would I be able to beat an iron breaker? Probably not, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez.
I don't know what it is about iron breakers, but I just cannot crack that nut as the marauder. Which is weird because like white lions don't have any problems with my black guard. Then again, as far as I know, he could have been a nine rank kitty. Or he could have equally been like a nine rank five. It's difficult to know at times. I was about to say I haven't played my Black Guard in ages. And then I suddenly remembered I played him... I think it was on Sunday night. Um, I did a PQ after I logged off. And I think it's the only thing I've done with the Black Guard in ages. To be honest, that was just because I had two potions there. But, ah, oh, he left before I could bite him. I like Warcry. Warcry seems like a good guy. really really weird to see oh lots of order supplies it's really really weird to see me doing more hits and parrying more of his stuff than the other way around oh no i only got this one
I've just realized that Gut Ripper is more useful than I thought it was. Because I didn't read the automatic critical at the end of it. I was confusing it with that. Fleur, I recognize. Uh, J Bass Bars, he's been on a few. Tancred seems like a familiar name, but I can't think from where. Come on. Okay. He's a motivational speaker, this gobble. The Gobbo's motivational speech didn't help us. You think after you level up your Marauder, you'll start a Chosen? Yeah, Chosens are fun. Um, chosens are... What's the best way to describe them? They're a very easy class to play. And I'd say probably a difficult class to master. Chosens are very forgiving. Um, I generally find whenever I play my Chosen, it feels like I can make mistakes and get away with it. More so than I can the likes of the Marauder or the Witch Elf. Nowhere near the same extent as the Zealot. The Zealot feels very forgiving um, once it gets to sort of level 20-ish. <laughs> Just don't knock people away from melee DPS when they're in low health, <laughs> and you'll do fine. Yeah, don't run in there, guys. That's just insane. Hey, we got one. I'm not going to lie, guys. I am missing guillotine. I'm convinced I'm missing that four-piece bonus more, though. So I'm really tempted 
to maybe stick a bunch of the Devastator stuff back on and take the armor hit so that I can get the armor debuff back. <clears throat> I might do some comparisons on set pieces, or not set pieces, um, stat blocks of the pieces. the wrong thing. I jumped in feet first. That was a mistake. <laughs> What's the situation down here? Rallied a bit towards the end, but just not enough. Just not enough. These two marauders are sitting looking at me going, wow, his armor looks so cool. Let's see what we can do with these armor pieces. Queue okay, up. This will be the point where it instantly pops in. What on earth that grim? Okay. Uh, so we'll take that one out of the way. We'll put that one on. That one on. that one on 
Damn. I'm going to lose the two-piece bonus. There's the bomb problem. Uh... That's unfortunate. Hmm. Ho hum, ho hum. I honestly think this Devastator set has the better, um, what do you call it? Um, the better set bonuses. And I think that's what potentially I'm missing the most. Because that corrosion on hit 10% chance to lower the target's armor. That's huge. <clears throat> like, you're talking my armor with my potion and everything is only 2,000. So that's halving that. And I'm a melee DPS, so something like an Archmage or a Rune Priest or something is going to have even less. But we'll see how it goes. Ah, it's Lady and the Tramp. I'm here all week. <laughs> Only downside is we don't have any healers again. I was going to use a healing potion and I thought there's no point because all that's going to happen is I'm going to stand here and then someone's just going to come around and kill me. Like, for holding two points, the scores are pretty tied. There's some sort of fisticuffs going on. <coughs> Nobody come behind me yet.
just realized I've lost my Thundering Blow. Because I lost the plus one to Savager. I'm taking off my Annihilator. Oops. I was wondering why there was nothing there. I was like, have I moved it? <clears throat> nope. Just an idiot. I love how the Archmage is laughing at me. It's like, you've got a whole party around you to protect you. I don't even have a healer. It's like, I could understand it if it was the other way around. But... Uh, I'll never understand people. Nothing I can do there. It's true. It's true. He is just out of the day spa. So, there is that. <clears throat> and my potions have run out. But we're about to lose anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Back back to brutality. I'm misguiating. I'm 
tempted to go with that, you know. What the? There we go. Uh, right. That. For that, which goes down here. We'll move those along to there. That goes there. That. I need to move into here. I think it just missed brutality too much. Also, I'm really interested in trying out. Uh, not that one. Not this one? No. No, no. no. This one. Instead of that. So. Gating nearly always crits. Impale seems to crit a lot. What I'm thinking is this is potentially going to proc more for me than flanking was. <clears throat> And I'm now back up to cap for strength. So. I'll see how that plays out. Might be a waste of a tactic slot. I might end up going back to flanking. But it's something I'm going to give a go, I think. Yeah. It's, it's one of those ones. I'm sort of looking at it and I'm going... Is this one of those tactics that looks good on paper and not in reality? Or is it actually just pretty good? And the thing that is, like, I have no, um, I have no experience with the Marauder outside of what I've realistically played here uh, in front of you guys. So a lot of these things, I'm looking at them and I'm just going, eh, in theory, it's this, in theory, it's that. And I don't, or at least I try not to go and look at um, forum posts that are, oh, I want to have the best possible spec for this character, or I want to do something or other best in slot for this, because I'd rather just figure it out for myself. No, that's not to say that I won't take advice and things like, um, it's one of those, like the, the witch elf, one with the guy in that time, he was giving me advice on the witch elf. It was like, yeah, that makes sense. Exclaiming guillotine every time you used it became kind of endearing. Most people would probably say it was really annoying, but I find if you yelled guillotine, it tended to do more damage. <laughs> Ah, t -Boo, thank you very much for subscribing, sir. That's very kind of you. That's very much appreciated. Now, this is going to be the point where I'm going to go and do this. And I'm going to feel horribly. It's going to be, hmm, I wonder was savagery the best thing after all. <laughs> hey, that's cool, man. I, I, I do the same thing. Like, I always forget I have it. Um, and then I'll be sitting watching somebody and I'll be like, oh yeah, I've got Twitch. 
a prime sub. So it really is the best way to do it because it doesn't cost you anything. Um, and I forget what the thing is. I think I get like is it one dollar fifty something for every prime sub. So it throws a few quid my way. Which is very nice. It's very much appreciated. Like, I'm not here for money, but um, it's nice to be in a position where I can at least generate something out of it. Pretty much, yeah. Like, as I was saying, I think it was yesterday I was saying it, like, I'm pretty much here as, like, a way to do my hobby. Because... If I didn't have a schedule that I was trying to stick to, then I'd just be sitting on the sofa. Pretty much, yeah. Because this is the thing, like, it was last Christmas I think I built this PC. And I played... What was the game I was playing at the time? I think it was Stellaris was what I was playing at the time. And um, I played it for about two or three days. And then I didn't play it again for probably a couple of months. And, like, the computer would literally just sit here, and it would gather dust. And I would sit, and I would use the monitor for work. And I'd be like, oh, do you know what? I'll come back and I'll play a game later. And I just wouldn't do it, because I'd finish work. And I'd just go and sit on the sofa with a cup of tea, and I'd sit and watch videos on YouTube, or... Um, Twitch streams or something like that and to be honest it was a friend at work who streams um, I was speaking to him and he was like do you not use that computer of yours and I was like to be honest I try to but I just don't get the time I'm doing X Y and Z and he's like you should do some streaming I was like but nobody will come and watch me stream and he was like that's, that's not the point he says it'll give you a a focus so that you'll want to actually go and play something. I was like, well, we'll give it a go. And it's worked. So, um, yeah, it works out just really well. Get in. Oh boy. 
Uh, schedule's been somewhat made for me at the moment, but when I have free time, I'm going to resume stream again. Or I've been streaming on my PS5. Yeah! Like, it, it's weird just how it gets you sort of out of the couch zone. Um, and it's... It's bizarre, because, like, I, I'll even have it some nights where I'm sitting there and I'm going, Do you know what, I don't really feel like playing something tonight. And I'll look at my phone, and there's a schedule that says, oh, you're going to be online in, like, an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be online in an hour and 20 minutes. Um, streaming off your PC is really easy. Um, and to figure it out, what I did was I basically was sitting in front of the TV, as per usual, and stuck in... How do I stream on Twitch in the YouTube? And I basically followed the instructions there. Um, see, that's the thing. It's like, I... I just love feeling unproductive when I'm sitting on the sofa. If I'm sitting on the sofa late at night and I'm watching like, I don't know, a YouTube cookery video or something like that and I'm drinking a cup of tea, I'm just sitting there going, do you know what? This is actually quite nice. I don't even have to think. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, as Per says, like, it's really easy these days just to get streaming going. Because like, if I can get it working, Fairly sure most people probably can. Get in. Didn't work that time. I yelled guillotine and he didn't immediately die. To be honest, like, you don't even have to dedicate a huge deal of your time to it. Like, most nights I'll only ever do about two hours, because two hours is realistically the main amount of time I can dedicate to it during the week. Um, I usually go longer on like a Friday and a Saturday, just simply because I've got a little bit more time on a Friday and a Saturday. but. Realistically speaking, like you could do an hour and a half here or there. Um and that's the beauty of it. Because you just fit it in as part of your hobby schedule. If if you get my meaning. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like stream something that you like. Stream something that you're interested in because like the idea behind it is or sorry well I say the idea behind it the idea behind what I do is I'm streaming my hobby right this is something I would do so having a stream schedule set for me basically says I'm going to go and do this Whereas if it was just left up to me, something else would always get in the way. I'd be like, do you know what? I'm not going to play it tonight because I want to go and watch a film or I'm not going to play it tonight because I want to go and do something else. It kind of works for me the same way that being in like a big community guild worked back when this game was live because you were wanting to get online to see people or you were wanting to get online to get involved in something. Whereas here... I want to get online just so that I am not have a load of people sitting there going, oh, I was going to watch him at seven and he hasn't turned up. Um, 
I'm like, it works. Like, I, I, I've been super consistent for the most part in actually playing the game, which has been my main aim the whole way through it. So, yeah. That's my rationale. <laughs> Your experience may vary. <laughs> Well, the thing is, like, when I started off, I didn't even have a microphone. It was just sort of in-game noise. Um, and I got a couple of questions, and I just responded to them um, just through the chat channel. And I know, like, there's been a few different uh, Return of Reckoning streams I've watched where the people don't talk at all. They've just got, like, music playing. And like that in itself is something that people enjoy. Like they just want to see the game played. They don't want to hear someone like me chatting over the top of it, talking nonsense. But it's really funny, actually, because when I was getting into streaming, the game that I played at the start was Space Marine. And I was playing it because I had it installed. And I wanted to see whether it would work. And when I finished, I was watching a friend stream, and he was playing Vermintide. And a lot of the characters in Vermintide looked like they were lifted directly from this game's art assets. I was like, I wonder if that war private server is still going. I went and downloaded the game and played it. I think this was like the second game I played on it for the next night. <laughs> Ooh, gates of Ekron. <clears throat> the Bosch. He was the one who was laughing at me in the other game. It's kind of annoying that they have healers and we don't again. Oh, it's going to get messy. Magus has got his priorities right. He's got a fun looking helmet. Like, there's not even really much point for us, because we're just going to get burned down before we get anywhere near them. Cheers for hanging out, Tebow. Hopefully you get a good night's sleep. Have a nice day tomorrow. Take care, bud. And thanks again for the subscription. It was really very, very kind.
Aha, I got one. I'm calling that a win for me. I killed someone. <laughs> oh my god, we've got a healer. How on earth did he get up there? I got another one. See, I told you brutality was better. Killing folks left and right. Joy of joys. Are they going for five stars in Calador or something? Witch Hunter still running around.
Got him. Ah, oh, Slitty. I shall buy. It was a good fight. Well, it wasn't until all these ones turned up, but sure. Regards. El Garador. I don't think I've ever encountered him before. You have survived. What did I get for... Mm, doesn't tell me. Ah, oh, it does. 2,700. That's not bad. I'm going to need to go and get more potions. Actually, I should be able to get the next tier up. Looking at that. Should. He says. Gonna need to get myself more uh, armor and strength ones as well. Let's see how we're doing on this. Oh, we can get our first bit. Uh, still a bit to go. Get that before Monday. Uh, we'll pop in here first. Uh, I've got money. Money, money, money. Uh, what level am I? 35. So we'll say 30 to 35 lasting and potion. Uh, onion. Uh, what's this one? Thirty-two. Thirty-five. So the difference is going to be about seven. Day. We'll go for these ones. Get three sets, and we're gonna need brawn. No brawn. Maybe it's called something else. Thews. Mm. I would never have guessed that in a million years. Pretty sure ah, it's only thirty minutes. I was gonna, I was gonna say. There we go. Fifteen of each. That'll keep me going for a while. Tick, tick. There we go. Thirty-one. I'm trying to think. Maybe the Conqueror guy sells some. Might need to go and do my Renown Mastery because I don't think I've done it in a while. I'm fairly sure all of it's in. Uh, parry and um, melee crit. Thunderbolt 
Okay, he's it. Yeah, that's 40. Well, it's 31. Uh, Alright, what should do for those? Uh, nothing from this guy? Nope. This is the next level up. What's the next level up? It's this guy. Uh, Charlie's Chaos Axe. Item level 40, 34, 34. Oh, so that's the thing I already have. So it's 39 is the next one. I see. Okay. Um, let's go to Calador for a change of pace. Oh, I was going to go and do the renowned thing, wasn't I? Damn. I'll do that another time. Do do. Might be too many people here anyway. Probably be better just going back to Reichland. <laughs> he says. See? Yelling guillotine works. Go on, guillotine. Oh, I died. Guillotine. Yes. going. I'm literally charging into the Order Zerg. Uh, oh yeah, this is the one with all the weapons. It was a good punt. I'll give him that. Looks like he's got a wee shark fin. It's just pointing the wrong direction. Oh! Another round rank 80. Grats to them.
Let's head up this way for a bit. It's not a room priest. Every time I get stuck on that. Even scenarios have stopped popping now. Let's give this a go. Have we got? I believe I can flee. <laughs> he can. I believe him. The wizard of peepee. -pee. Sork on a dock. Oh boy.
Get in. Get in. Yes. Not again. <clears throat> Everything's coming up guillotine. Oh, I've got more join than I. Why is it they always get loads of healers as reinforcements? They've got another healer. <laughs> oh, there. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<clears throat> I feel like I've died a ton of times in this. Four. Ugh. got back to an even kill to death ratio. Let's see if we can get another one in. What do I get for all of that? Let's see. Seven hundred, one hundred thousand. Seventeen hundred. <clears throat> Ooh, we're nearly at forty two. There's not going to be any of them down here is the problem. No, not with all those Destro about. It's background. Wizard of PP again. Let's see how this goes.
I've been caught in the hop again. Um, which side are you playing on? Chill Walker? Are you playing destruction or order? On order. So, you've got a couple of choices. Uh, so this guy I'm fighting at the minute, he's an Archmage. And it's probably one of the most balanced classes early on in the game because um, it does healing damage and it can take uh, a, a good beating um, the Knight of the Blazing Sun as a tank class is very straightforward um, so that's another option to you um, and let's see the other one I'm thinking of something like uh, a white lion or a slayer would be pretty straightforward as well. Hey, finally got him. Hopefully that helps. An Archmage is probably going to be the best. Um, but something like a a Knight of the Blazing Sun is going to be really easy to play. I'm playing a Marauder at the minute on the destruction side.
42. Did all right out of that one. That was a bad plot to spawn in. Right. I think that is going to be me for tonight, guys. Um, thank you all so much for coming along and watching. Um, we've had a decent number of people here most of the night, sitting, watching away, chatting away. So it's been really nice to have. Thanks again for the subscription earlier, TiVo. It was very kind of you. Um, and as I'm always saying, I play this game, Return of Reckoning, every night, 7 p.m. GMT. You're always very welcome to come along and watch. If you're new to the game, you can get it for free on returnofreckoning.com. Um, and I'm going to be back here tomorrow night, all being well. Um, and if you are new to the channel, please drop a follow. It really helps. Subs really help too. Please only do it through Prime though, because I don't want you spending money on this. Uh, this is just my hobby. Um, but I'm going to have a wee look here. I'm going to see if there's anybody else online who um, we can do a wee raid on. And I'm going to do my best. I see someone. I see someone who's always raiding me. Uh, so I am going to send you over to him. So thank you very much for coming along, everybody. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope you have a really nice day tomorrow. And I'll hopefully see you here tomorrow night. Um, give Toth Monor a good wah for me once you get over there. But thanks again. Take care. Bye.